So now, uh, after random sampling, we will talk about the systematic sampling. Now, systematic sampling is should be done in an area where there is some favoritism. I mean, some of the the organisms may be uh, affected. The 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 uh, the distribution or the abundance of the organisms are dependent on some of the external factors. As I'm giving you an example, like here is a field. It's a, that in a habitat, and, and this habitat, just near this habitat, we have some, some, like a canal or, or a river, is here. It's a lot of water, and the effect of this water is about, about, five hundred meters. And this area remains dry, actually. So. If you do the sampling, it is better to do the sampling in this way, like in this direction you have to take the samples first. Look at this distance, might be like a 100 meter distance, then you have to move again 100 meter distance, and again 100 meter distance. So the sampling like be in vertical line here, because it is equal to the river. But if you take the sample from here, from there, from this, this is like some biasness, because here, maybe some species like species A, species A, species A, there, there looks like a desert environment, a dry environment. And we say like, if you do sampling from here, and we say like species X or species B doesn't exist in this habitat. Might present that species B is in quite abundance here because it, they, they, they are attracted toward the, uh, toward the water. So there's a lot of water here. So that's why in such cases, what should we do? we have to do systematic sampling in a particular pattern, not like randomly from everywhere. So for this purpose, what should we do? There are also two techniques for systematic sampling. One is called, one is called line transect, line transect method. And the one is called belt transect, belt transect. What is the difference between these two uh, techniques, line transect and belt transect? Both are systematic sampling, both are the techniques of systematic sampling, but only difference that line transect is used to measure quantitative, oh, qualitative, sorry, not quantitative, it's qualitative, qualitative measurement, qualitative measurement. And bulk transit is used to measure quantitative, quantitative, quantitative measurements. What does it mean? Line transit, Quantita qualitative means which type of vegetation? how many types of species are there. We are not just count individual of each species. We just look how many species we have. Like you are, you have a certain point, like this is a pole area, and you are, look the distribution of some species in that two points. The distance is, let's suppose, that is means a 700, Oh, so it's too bad. It's like 60 kilometer, 60 kilometer distance. And you are moving, when I'm moving from this direction, from, from here to there, we just want to how many species, how, what about how, how many variation there is in species in that particular pattern. So you just make like, uh, 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 it's like, a, it's a big distance, so you can take the samples, multiple points of, you know, it's maybe 500, 500 meter. And then again, 500 meters, that's one kilometer. And so many sampling you can do in this way. Uh, it's uh, 60 kilometers is too much more. You can take like uh, even uh, 10 kilometer as well. So now you just have to follow this direction. It might be a rope, it might be a nylon bar, it may be uh, like uh, some marking in a particular direction. 
Now you have to move along this one and look at the species, like here are some species of plants, and then there's some other species which are like here, and then you are moving, and you can see this species once again here, and like some of the species here, here, different types of species along this particular point. So you just have to count, just have to uh, keep in view only those species which are so much near this point at a particular direction. So if the vegetations are remaining ch uh, continuously changing with the distance covering, it means that some particular factors is affecting which makes the distributions other than the random. It's not random because some factors are changing. I'm just giving a simple example like if you want to purchase the um, a water uh, a, a water bottle from the downtown which is like a, a big uh, business centers so you say like uh, it's too much expensive but when you move a distance away from the business center uh, increasing the distance the price of the bottle is slightly decreasing and uh, if now if, if you have to follow in a particular direction the distance the more the distance the more cheaper will be the bottle it means that the cost why the cost is because of the business center. There are some conditions, some, some factors which are affecting the rate, yeah, uh, 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 the, the prices of the bottle. In the same way, might be we say like those plants which are uh, phototrophic, which, which are attracting to more light. And if you are moving to that area, which is, you know, uh, high light intensity, so we get thick vegetation of those plants which like the light intensity plants. So differences in plant variation through the line is called line transit method and it is a qualitative measurement we, we do not count the individuals of each species we just look at the changes in the plant species how many species how they are uh, they how they are uh, different from one another when you are covering the distance to a particular point so this is the line transit method maybe in the sea as well sometime in sea we have a particular direction moving and so the different types of plankton and some marine animals now what is bell transit Bell transit is dependent on the quantitative measurement. Here we measure the number of individuals along the particular line. Like we make some quadrates here. These quadrates should be on the line. And in each quadrate, in the same method as we have done in the random sampling, you have to count the species density of each organism. Total abundance we have to count. And then we say like how much organisms in a particular area are present how much they are dense so bell transit and line transit both belong to systematic sampling the only difference that in bell transit we do the quantitative measurement I mean we just count the number of individual of each species with the passage of uh, uh, distance that's uh, with, the, with the with the interval of distance which is uh, moving ahead uh, and in the line transit we use the qualitative measurement we, we never count the number of individual of each species but we just look on the changes in the organism. So this is the difference between the uh, line transect and uh, belt transect method. Now, sometime if you want to calculate the, uh, you want to do the systematic sampling, uh, it's given in your book as well in quite detail. We, we, we draw the kite diagram and I'll share with you people in the sense, like in the form of notes. Uh, because the diagram is given and it, it will take a long time to, uh, to, uh, to draw it here. So now in the next video, we will move to the next topic and that is the correlation. But before this, we will also talk about the capturing and recapturing mechanism. So we will discuss about it.